Good morning to you. It's Tuesday. I trust that you are well. We continue now with Acts chapter 4. We pick it up from verse 4, Philip and Samaria. Therefore those who had been scattered about went about preaching the word. Philip's went, Philip went down to the city of Samaria and began proclaiming Christ to them. The crowds with one accord were giving attention to what was said by Philip as they heard and saw the signs which he was performing. For in the case of many who had unclean spirits, they were coming out of them shouting with a loud voice, and many who had been paralyzed and lame were healed. So there was much rejoicing in that city. So here we see the direct consequence of the persecution of the early Christians, that they went out and they left Jerusalem as we saw the apostles stayed in Jerusalem for the time being, but the, the others went out and they were scattered abroad and they went preaching the word. So they took the word out. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and he became, began to proclaim Christ to them. And God gave him um, the ability and power to perform special miracles. And many who were demon possessed were, were delivered and those who were, who were paralyzed and crippled were healed. And that was bringing, drawing attention to the message and many of them were coming to Christ. They saw the signs and the wonders and they were in one accord giving attention to what he was saying. How different it was in Jerusalem where the religious leaders and the religious people were rejecting the word. Here the Samaritans were just lapping it up and they were, in, they were united in their, uh, in, in their accord. They were, they were together, they, they listened and they, they accepted the word and God was performing mighty miracles amongst them. And so there was much rejoicing in that city. You see, where people are united around Christ, there is much rejoicing. Because Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. In a city where many people are following the Lord Jesus Christ and living for him, there can be much joy. And that's why there isn't much joy in our cities. There's so many people that are so angry all the time and so down and so depressed and, and, and just so wound up all the time because they do not know the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't have the peace that surpasses all human understanding. It's only when we come to know the Lord Jesus Christ that we can have joy in any situation and we uh, get the best out of life. We, we can enjoy the greatest things that God has given to us. We live in peace, we live in hope, we live in joy, knowing that we have a good shepherd who is always with us, knowing that the great I am is just carrying us and he's leading us and guiding us. And we know that whatever happens here in this life, no matter how rough it can get, we are more than conquerors. We are going to live forever. We're going to have a new body. We're going to live in a new place, in a new heaven and a new earth where there'll be no more suffering, no more pain. So it's joy unspeakable and full of glory. And with that hope and that joy, we go forward into the day today. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you. In the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. As we begin a new day today, Lord, we lift up our voices in praise and thanksgiving to you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, bless and praise you. We thank you that you died on the cross and that you took all of our sins and you, with your blood, Lord, you've washed them away. We repent of all of our sins and we really, our desire, Lord, is to be better. Our desire is to serve you better. Our desire is not to break your commandments. Our desire is to live in holiness and to walk, Lord, in the way that you would have us to walk, to bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So we, right here, right now, once again, surrender ourselves to you as a living sacrifice. We offer ourselves to you. And we ask, Lord, that you would lead us and guide us, cleanse us, shield us, and strengthen us, and feed us. Heavenly Father, we lift up before you the country in which we live in, and we pray for our leaders. We realize, Lord, that there is uh, a lot of responsibility on their shoulders, and we pray that you give them the wisdom and the understanding and help them to navigate through these times. We pray, Lord, for those who are suffering under uh, bad dictatorships and bad leaders. We pray for the Ukraine. We pray for an end to the war there. We pray for the church. We pray, Lord, that you would cleanse her, renew her, and strengthen her. We pray that you would remove from our midst the false prophets and those who are slandering and, and just twisting your word. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we pray for the sick. We pray, Lord, that you would lay your hand upon them and heal them and help them. Heavenly Father, we pray for the lost, and there's so many in our cities, there's so many around us, Lord, who are lost, but we pray for their souls. We pray, Lord, that they would come to know you, that they would repent of their sins and call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who have any need whatsoever. We thank you for your word. We thank you that you daily strengthen us, and we thank you that we know that the best is yet to come. 
that we can say along with the Apostle Paul, I consider the sufferings of this present time nothing compared to the glory which shall be revealed in us on that day. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we thank you that that day is coming and we look forward to it. So once again, we just lift our hands and we praise and worship and adore you. And we say, holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So Lord, I pray your blessing over everyone who's listening to these messages, that you would just strengthen them and comfort them and love them today, Lord. Hear us now as we join together in praying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all tomorrow.